Hi, my name is Sean with MakerBot Learning. If you're looking to create a fully realistic end stage prototype, painting is a great solution for you. So in this video, we'll cover some of the best practices associated with painting your 3D prints. To complete the process outlined in this video, you'll need the following. A 3D print, rubbing alcohol, paper towels, spray primer filler, spray paint, hanging cord, 1,000 grit sandpaper, gloves, eye protection, and a respiratory mask. To create the highest quality finish, we sand our models thoroughly before painting. If you're curious how, check out our video on sanding for more info. Once you've sanded your model completely, it's important to clean any remaining debris with rubbing alcohol to ensure a clean surface for painting. After sanding and cleaning, a bit of touch-up may be necessary around small details, joints, or seams. Needle-nose pliers and a putty knife are great for this. If you're painting a model that has multiple components which have been glued together, a filler like Bondo can be used to help cover any seams before painting. Visit our gluing page to learn more. Next, hang your model in an open, well-ventilated space. Be sure to attach any hanging wire in an inconspicuous space where it will not prevent coverage on your model. After hanging your model, apply a high build primer filler to fill any small surface imperfections. Apply two to three thin coats of primer filler using a misting technique. When priming, it's important to use wide strokes, beginning and ending in the space outside of the model to create thin, even layers. Hold the can 10 to 12 inches from your model and do not spray in any one spot for too long or else primer filler will accumulate and drip. As the primer filler creates a rough texture, you'll need to sand the primer filler with 1000 grit sandpaper to ensure a completely smooth surface before applying the top coat. Apply consecutive coats of primer filler and sand until you're confident the surface is even, refined, and no pits, holes, or seams are visible. Paint will do little to cover any surface imperfections that are present. Once you've applied two to three layers of primer filler and sanded to desired finish, you're ready to paint your model. The next step is to apply the top coat. We use standard spray paint which will yield an impressive finish. Shake well before use, and remember to wear eye protection, a respiratory mask, and gloves. Just as with priming, use wide strokes beginning and ending in the space outside of the model to create thin, even layers. Using a misting technique, ensure that no stroke marks are visible. Holding the can too close to the model, painting in thick layers, or holding the can in one spot for too long will create imperfections. Apply at least two to three layers of paint to create the highest quality finish. Wait 10 to 20 minutes before applying each consecutive coat to let the paint cure slightly. After each layer, examine the part for surface quality and repeat this process until you're satisfied with the finish. Let the paint sit overnight to cure. Typically, the paint is dry to touch within an hour and ready to polish within 24 hours. If you'd like to protect the surface of your model, you can also apply a thin clear coat at this point. In the end, you're left with a beautiful printed part. Here you can see just how far we've come through each stage. A 3D print that has been sanded and glued, one that has been primed and sanded, and one that has been painted. You just learned how to take your prints beyond the build plate. If you're looking for more applications, check us out at MakerBot.com or on our YouTube channel. And remember, if you try this at home, share it with us on Thingiverse or social media. We can't wait to see what you make.